Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Species Saturday on the new channel, Nico's Aquatics. I'm your host, Nico. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the species that doesn't get a lot of love. And I was going to originally do the video on a Riley shrimp, which is uh, a really beautiful shrimp. I may do that next week. Uh, but basically, I kind of sat back and I thought, why don't I go and do a video on a species that doesn't get a whole lot of love and a lot of attention, even though it, in my opinion, is a staple in the hobby or the community. So we're gonna, today we're going to be talking about the white skirt tetra, a beautiful fish, a little bit on the plainer side, but it is a gorgeous fish and one of my favorites by far. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and get started on talking about this wonderful fish. So why did I call it a staple in the hobby? Well, quite frankly, it is because it's a tetra. It's in the tetra family. Now, there is dozens and dozens of, of tetras species in that sort of uh, family. Now, these guys are unfortunately one of the less popular ones because they're a solid white. You know, uh, a lot of times people want flashy fish like rainbow fish or guppies with the beautiful tails. And those are gorgeous fish. Uh, but sometimes they're not as hardy as a tetra. Uh, again, when I think of a fish tank, I think of a tetra. You know, um, one of my favorite fish of all time, besides an African cichlids, uh, besides the African cichlid species, uh, which I used to have, is a red-eyed tetra. Because tetras, they're inexpensive and they're super hardy. So that's why also these guys are so good for beginners. If you're just starting out with a tank, I highly recommend not only any type of tetra, but especially these guys. And again, getting back into why they're less popular is because they're a solid white color. You know, they're not as flashy. But under the right light and the right water parameters, which we'll get to in just a couple minutes here, um, they, they're not just solid white. And I'll, I'll show you some pictures um, on the thumbnail also in just a moment here at some point in the video. Um, they have hints of, of pink, reddish, and orange in them so it, it they're a gorgeous fish to me especially again and i can't stress this enough under the right water parameters in a good light so that's unfortunately the misconception with them is that they're just an, an ugly white fish and for that's how some people think unfortunately but these guys are absolutely gorgeous i i am very happy with them they do better in schools they're really good school fish uh, and this is a 20 gallon tank i originally bought three of them I've had these guys for probably three years. Their lifespan is, is between three and five years. Uh, so these guys are getting actually up there in age and they're very healthy. They're they're nice and plump and fat. You know, they're not skinny. They're they're not um they don't have any sort of diseases. They're extremely healthy, very, very hardy fish. And again, they're inexpensive. I probably I got these guys actually not from an LFS, uh, a small local fish store. Uh, I got them either from Petco or PetSmart, one of the bigger chains, which normally I do not buy fish there, but for some reason I was there. I saw these guys, they're, again, they're cheap. They're like 3 or $4 for a couple of them. Um, I think they may even may have been cheaper than that, but um, I got three of them. Unfortunately, one passed away because that was at the beginning when I was getting back into the hobby several years ago. I didn't really take it that serious, unfortunately, but um, one of them died off. Uh, so I still have these guys, and again, they do better in schools. I should probably have one or two more in here, but these guys are doing really well. Uh, and the reason why they uh, recommend going in schools is because a lot of them have longer fins. They also have a different variety uh, under the same name. They have really beautiful long uh, fins. Now, these guys are not the long fin ones, uh, but they do have longer fins than normal. Uh, they have the top, bottom, and back. Um, and I, I, again, I'll show you a picture here shortly, but, um, a lot of fish, unfortunately, kind of pick on them because they're slow swimmers. They, they're kind of, they're more of a relaxed fish. They don't do a lot of, um, a lot of swimming. Let, let's just put it that way. So they do kind of get picked on at, at times, but I only have mollies in this tank and also some autos and shrimp. So the, uh, mollies are a great tank mate for them. Um, they don't get picked on at all. Because, you know, mollies are very uh, uh, subdued 
uh, species, so they don't get picked on at all. That's why they, they're better in schools, because these two, even though they're two, they really stay together. They are always within a couple of inches from each other. If one goes to the other end of the tank, that one follows right behind them. It's actually pretty interesting. I don't know if these guys are male or female, honestly, because they're really hard to gender. Um, like most fish, um, you know, the, the females are, are larger, fatter. The males are obviously smaller. The males, or the females rather, are fatter and thicker, obviously, because they, they, they're the ones that carry the eggs. They're not live bearers like mollies or cichlids. I'm sorry, not, not cichlids, but mollies and other sort of freshwater fish. Uh, they are egg layers like cichlids. My apologies. Um, so that, that's a couple of facts about them. Now, the water parameters... Um, it's, it's very basic, uh, just like a lot of other tetras. They're really hardy, like I said, but if you want to get the, the most color out of them, the, you know, the hints of the pinks and reds and oranges, uh, you want to have it to about 74 to 80 degrees. This one actually just turned down the, uh, temperature. It was around 78. I turned it down to about 76 because I, again, I just added a bunch of shrimp in there. Shrimp like, um, colder temperatures, um, so that that's what I have it set to right now. That's definitely recommended around 76 is good. 78 is a little high. Uh, 76 is really good. That's what I have it set at right now. Um, and then the pH is just average, man. I don't even know what the pH is on here. I don't really pay attention to that that much. It's around 6 to, uh, I believe it was 7. 6 to 7 is what they like. Which is, that's basically what it comes out of the faucet at a lot of places. I've never paid attention to pH, so you don't really have to worry about that. As far as tank, uh, tank mates go, you want really mild, less aggressive fish. Especially if you have the long finned uh, white skirt tetras. Um, because again, they will get, they'll, they'll get, um, they will get fin nipped uh, by other ones. But just, you know, easy going fish, other tetras, mollies are good, platies. Uh, those are all great to go with them. Um, they also obviously like uh, a lot of, uh, I, would, I was going to say decorations, but I don't like decorations. I like driftwood, live plants. They like those just to kind of give them a little bit of uh, shelter if they are getting picked on. Um, even though they're in there with mollies, mollies can get a little bit picky, you know, uh, fin picky. So that's why I have a lot of stuff in there. Um, they, they have a lot of dividers, natural dividers and hiding spots and everything, which is perfect for them. Uh, they do not like, uh, high velocity water. So if you have a, a, a heavy filter, you know, over the gallons set of what you have, if you have a 20 gallon tank, you have like a 40 gallon filter on there. I would definitely, um, put that back as far as the nozzle on. A lot of them have nozzles that you can kind of adjust the flow. They do not like heavily rotated water because again they're uh, more of a calmer fish they like to just kind of just stand there and then twitch around and just stand there i know it sounds strange but that's exactly what they do they literally would just stand there and then kick their fins kick their fins it's, it's really awesome to watch i love these fish man I, I really do highly recommend it for anybody especially beginners if you're a beginner i highly recommend them because they are hardy as hell and they are cheap as hell so they are highly recommended by me so that is uh the species saturday for this week guys thank you so much for watching um more videos to come i'm gonna do a video uh a week every friday um is when i'm gonna film them and then they're gonna be out either friday night or saturday the species saturday every week if you have any recommendations or any questions or anything you just want to shoot the breeze about fish i love talking about it i've been in the hobby for basically all my life over 20 years i'm 28 now um, so if you got any questions, drop it in the comments. Make sure you hit subscribe. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. God bless you. Stay safe out there with this stupid virus going around. Bye-bye, guys. Peace out. God bless. Stay wet. <laughs> that was my catchphrase back in the day. I want to bring that back. Stay wet. Bye-bye.